On this week's Waypoint, League of Legends is kind of a big deal, Braum nerfs on the horizon, and Riot explains why we don't have in-game voice chat. What's up guys, and welcome to Waypoint, your weekly League of Legends recap for July 2nd, 2014. I'm your host, Lindsay Geektron. We're starting this week off with some absolutely insane news. Details have been scarce on the Season 4 World Championships up to now, and Riot are finally giving us the goods. Here's the big one, the World Finals will take place on October 19th in Songgam Stadium, Seoul, South Korea. Never heard of it? Soccer fans probably have, as it was a venue for the 2002 FIFA World Cup. That's right people, an eSport is having its final in a stadium built for the biggest sporting event in the world. Songgam Stadium has a capacity of 66,000, which is just mind-boggling. By comparison, last year's World Championship took place in the Staples Center in Los Angeles, which has a capacity of just 11,000. Now, Songgam Stadium is usually set up for soccer, so you'd have to imagine one end of the venue will be taken up by a giant stage and a screen setup, which may eat up some of that capacity. On the other hand, there's probably a ton of seats on the pitch itself, which brings that number back up. I think it's safe to say that we'll see at least 40 to 50,000 people at the finals, which is just incredible. As for the rest of the tournament, which we originally thought was going to be held in South Korea alone, we now know Taipei and Singapore will host the group stages. 16 teams, 4 groups, with the top 2 teams in each group moving on to the quarterfinals in South Korea. A pretty typical setup, exactly like the FIFA World Cup that's on right now. Best of all, every match from the quarterfinals onwards will be a best of 5. However, it's not all blue skies in the league community. Korean fans are actually really unhappy to find they're not getting the whole tournament, and before you can say they're being selfish, just think about it. We thought this was going to be the South Korean World Championships. We heard about it back in November, if you can believe that. In the original announcement, there was absolutely no mention of any other countries, and if we look at the last World Championships in America, it's not like they played in Mexico and Canada. Riot have apologized for the miscommunication, but that's not going to do very much to calm the Korean reddits. It really sucks they won't get to see a lot of their favorite foreign teams without having to travel. And speaking of traveling, please visa gods don't screw over the teams as I travel between three countries. Like please. Of course there's still one big question mark surrounding the tournament. What's the prize pool? There's a little game called Dota 2 whose own world championship prize pool is currently sitting at 10 million dollars. Let's see if Riot can match that. I must ask you a question. Have you been pwned by Braum? He's been a hotly contested pick in LCS. Riot agrees he's too strong at the moment and we can expect some nerves in the next patch. First and foremost, his incredibly powerful passive. It stuns and does significant magic damage, which you can't itemize for in the lane with a marksman. It looks like they're going to hit that early game damage to make Braum a bit less of a bully and also reduce the duration of the passive stack so his opponents can escape more easily. While we're in the bot lane, let's talk AD carries in 4.10. 4.10 was a big shakeup with nerfs to Lucian and major item changes across the board. Lucian survived the nerfs even if his Bloodthirster didn't. The new, popular, and very powerful Lucian revolves around attack speed with an early Blade of the Ruin King and a Ghost Blade, of all things. However, Riot are concerned that Caitlyn may emerge as the dominant champion in the patch and are keeping a very close eye on her. To be fair, Caitlyn has always been a strong pick, so it would be no surprise at all if she needs to be looked at in the near future. With the rise of various third-party chat programs for League of Legends, people have been asking why Riot just doesn't add it themselves. Voice chat with friends is an awesome way to game, but can that include strangers too? According to Riot's analysis, they found that a system that automatically or easily puts you into voice chat with strangers has a hugely negative impact on the game. To be specific, even if players can opt out or mute each other, there was 126% more toxicity and 47% more reports in those games. Does anybody actually know how to measure toxicity? Is there an app for that? Although I do think it's safe to say that Riot have had their fair share in dealing with it though. I mean, if there's anything the League of Legends community doesn't need more of, it's ass hattery. So, although in a perfect world where everyone is super nice and helpful and we all gave each other hugs, automatic voice chat would be great. I'm not sure if the maturity of the community is there yet. However, Riot also spoke about getting back to work on the honor system this week. You guys remember that? The thing where you never use after each game? Yup. Like CLG of old, it had a lot of potentials. Right now though, not so much. Mainly because gamers want to get something out of it. Guess we can all be selfish like that. So in the new tribunal, honorable players will have a chance to be reviewed by the tribunal and if voted positive, will get a reward in game. 
That sounds like a great step in the right direction, but an argument against goes back to the earlier point about players getting something out of honoring someone else. Because until we get an answer to that, the majority of people aren't really going to care about honor. Maybe honoring people yourself improves your chance to be reviewed by the tribunal? Maybe? And then the game turns into one big circle jerk of honoring and kindness? Take that, Reddit! We don't usually cover too many skins on Waypoint, but I had to share this one because it was hilarious. Previewed at a Spanish live event, meet Dunkmaster Darius himself. It's so great when Riot takes something the community was just having fun with and makes it official. So what's next? Dunkmaster Jarvin? Malphite? Zack? Oh wow, Zack would literally be the basketball. That would be so funny. Riot, please. Also, if you guys can just write me a check for that one now, that'd be great. Do you know what League of Legends lacks? Explosions. Okay, well, other than Ziggs and Rumble and half of our AD carries. Okay, fine, we sort of have explosions, but what we don't have are massive explosions inflicted by over 220 armored vehicles from America, Germany, France, and the Soviet Union. That is oddly specific. If those are the sorts of fiery balls of death you're looking for, then I highly encourage you to check out World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a team-based, massively multiplayer online action game dedicated to armored warfare. New players can jump into combat and get going in less than a minute, fighting with players from all over the world in a fast-paced epic battle. Best of all, it's free to play with no barrier to entry. There's absolutely no risk in trying World of Tanks, so head on over to gboffer.com tanks and check it out today. Following that link and just checking out the game is also just a great way to support us and help us to continue to make shows like Waypoint. Once again, to check out World of Tanks and support this content, head on over to gboffer.com slash tanks and have a blast! You guys see what I did there? Blast? Tanks? You know what I'm going to say by now. And that does it for this week's episode of Waypoint. Be sure to check back every week for the latest League of Legends news. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below to help us reach more people. And if you want more League of Legends content, recaps, and updates, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lull Nation TV. I'm Lindsay Geektron. You can follow me on Twitter at Lindsay Geektron. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see everyone at the next waypoint. Game Breaker TV.